Hey guys, Isaac Inferno here, and you know, I'm just so done with life. I wish I could just change into somebody else. I'm sick of being me. I'm sick of being Isaac. I just, I don't know what to do. Please help me. What the heck? What the heck happened? What? All right, guys. I'll, I'm done. I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop for the sake of you guys' sanity as well as my own. Uh, but anyway, yo, what's up, guys? Zelda Inferno here, and welcome to another vlog. I know, I, I don't do these things very often. Uh, it seems like once in a blue moon, I'll, I'll randomly drop a vlog on you guys. No, I'm kidding. Uh, literally, the last time I've done this was back during, uh, back in June, during E3, uh, I did a couple of vlogs, uh, and they didn't come out until like two weeks after we actually got home from E3. Hopefully, the same thing doesn't happen uh, this time. Also, the lighting in here is just freaking awful. But yeah, guys, uh, I am doing another vlog, and you may be wondering why exactly I am vlogging. Well, the answer is actually right behind us. We going to Cali, boys. Yes, that's right. Carlo and I are actually going to be heading out to Irving, California for the My Virtual Escape live show. Now, I am very excited, and as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, that is actually my Isaac cosplay that I will be wearing to the event, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little nervous because I am going to be meeting the one and only Jesse Ridgway, also known as Nick Juggernuggets. Now, yeah, I'm a little nervous, uh, as you guys can probably tell, um, because I've never really met anybody this big before. Now, I obviously met a few different YouTubers. I've met c and I've met a few others uh, at E3, but um, I've never met somebody like this huge. He is literally my favorite YouTuber of all time. I've been watching him for the last few years, and I have seen pretty much every single one of his videos like within the last few years. I've seen like, he does some amazing stuff. If you guys have not seen his channel, uh, check it out. I'll actually be leaving a link down in the description below. Go check out McJuggerNuggets. He's awesome. Uh, we're going to be going in. You know, sorry guys um, if I seem out of it and don't really know what to say. It's almost 4 in the morning. Literally, like, I'm very tired right now. As you guys can probably tell, uh, I have not slept since I woke up yesterday. So yeah, I'm very tired, and I will probably be sleeping uh, in the car uh, on the way there. Hopefully not too much, though, because I would still like to, uh, you know, enjoy the car ride, but also I don't want to be dead uh, during the actual live show. So, uh, yeah, um, so Carlo actually just texted me telling me that he is on his way, uh, so uh, I gotta get ready. So yeah, we're only gonna be staying for a day, uh, so there's not really much for me to pack, but I will be packing a few things just in case. Uh, I'm not really going to bother getting spare clothes or anything because we're not even uh, getting a hotel room or anything. Uh, we're literally going to go to the live show, maybe explore uh, Cali for a little bit, and then head back home. Uh, that's pretty much the entire plan. So I will actually be picking the vlog back up when Carlo gets here. So uh, yeah, see you then. It's your boy! <laughs> It's sexy Mobster John. John. Mm -hmm. We got Sexy Mobster John up in here. <laughs> he, sh he even shaved it. That's dedication, honestly. He shaved his head for the occasion. Again, what is it with my channel and the worst lighting? Then again, it's like 4 in the morning. I was, I was just like, <laughs> when I shaved, I clogged my sink twice. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. dedication. Yeah, I uh, I had to boil two pots of water to unclog it. That's, that, that, that's do you insane. know that's a thing? I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, if you have a clogged thing, just uh, boil some water and pour it down. Oof. Uh, toilets? Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> I might do that actually. Yeah, uh, as in like <laughs> a, a very big pot though. Oh, okay. Oof. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna actually about to head out. We're gonna go by the gas station. So, I mean, guys, I know you haven't been introduced, uh, but we're gonna introduce a oh uh, long time gosh. running uh, fan of the show. This ketchup packet, honestly, is yes. legendary. It really is. Should we tell the story? Real we quick? we should. We should. Uh, so I don't remember exactly which night of fuckery we had. Uh, yeah. I th it might have been for one of the streams. Uh, oh. Um, but we we went. We took a break and we uh, we went um, to Circle K. So that I could get some yeah. soda, and uh, there was a Jack in the Box across the street. So, so yeah, e Eli was like, "I want a milkshake." He wants milkshake. I want a, I want a freaking milkshake. And so, uh, you know, we we went and got a milkshake. I guess the worker there was like, he was just bored or something. So instead of handing us the milkshake, he's like. Here you go, sir. Here is the ketchup packet he ordered. <laughs> exactly. And, and I was like, "All right, man. I take it." And I actually pull forward a little bit, just jokingly. And then I actually pull back because I couldn't reach at that point. Yeah. Uh, but then he gives us but, the milkshake. Yeah, but then he gives us the milkshake, and since then it has been the legendary milkshake. It honestly, or not milkshake, the ketchup packet. Yeah, yeah. The le totally the legendary milkshake. And it's just like, guys, if we ever become famous and like have our own museum or something like that, we're definitely going to put that ketchup packet we in. We really it. are. And honestly, this is only like a month or two ago, so it wasn't that long ago, but yeah. still. I feel, like, like, I feel like Miguel would know. I, Miguel. I feel like he knew the story. Miguel, did you know the story? Miguel He's going to comment just yeah, like... Yeah, Miguel will be our curator for the museum. <laughs> Miguel, I could just hear Miguel typing in the comments right now the most douchebaggiest thing he could think yeah, of. Yeah, even though this is a vlog and he doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, he's asleep right now, so. Yeah. I, honestly, it's like 7 a.m. right here. Okay. Or stop. Honestly, so I'm learning from my mistakes when it comes to from the E3 vlogs because, first of all, my dumbass self lost some of the footage when I should have taken his advice and saved it on my freaking computer. Yeah. And so I lost some of the footage. I'm not doing that this time. So I have a nice, hearty uh, 128 gigabyte micro SD card in my phone that I stole from my Nintendo Switch. And yeah. I hope to not lose any of this footage anymore. And also, I know well, another thing I noticed. Let's not have like 50 million just shots of us in the car because like that took so freaking long to edit <laughs> yeah and a lot more than half of the footage of us just driving mm -hmm. was not even used because it was literally us saying I, nothing i know and so i'm not doing that like there will be a few like hopefully noteworthy shots of us in the car but yeah other than that we're, we're gonna like you'll still see us driving and whatnot but for the most part, this vlog is going to take place. It's like, for in most Cali. of this uh, vlog, I'm going to be like out of frame. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No. With like half my face lit up. No, it'll just be your your head. If yeah, I can, dude. If I, can... I think. Uh, I think it. <laughs> just kidding, I think it up. literally took like almost 45 minutes to shave. Really? Cause I, yeah, because I didn't have like a. What is it? I I'm brain farting right now, but the the barbers. They... A razor? Well, I don't want to call it a razor is the thing. That's the, the snip snip. But I literally used uh, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. <laughs> like, I kept doing that, you know. Should have got put bleach. And I put, like, so much, uh, so much shaving cream all over my head. But it took so long and... I actually did cut myself back here somewhere. Yeah. Can I see? I, I don't think I, I can don't. see it, but... Yeah. So, yeah, I'm... For the most part, this vlog is going to take place in Cali, and we're getting stormed on right now, it seems, because there's a lot of freaking... We'll outrun running. the storm. We'll outrun the storm. By the time we, we hit Cali, it's going to be, like, all sunshine and happiness. Look, guys, we'll, we'll meet oh, you guys oh. at our next stop. That was a nice party burp. We'll meet you guys. I don't think so. You don't, you don't think so? No. 
We'll meet you guys at our next stop. See you there. Nachos. All right, guys. So I just checked on the gas can. Yeah, we just got to this gas station, and we're sad because Can you it's give not me my drink. Oh, here. We're sad because it's not the same one we went to when we went to Ryan. E3. The one that had the Cinnabon that Jaden was so enthused about. Well, actually, no, it was you the one that being enthused about it, but Jaden's like, oh. <laughs> he was, like, so happy about that. But he laughed. He did laugh. Coffee. Exactly what I need right now. Lots of hats. I'm getting one of these. Lots of hats indeed. Five ninety nine. All right. I'm getting. This. What is that? It's a little keychain flask. Can you see it? It's what? Yeah, like look. It's a <laughs> yes. guy. I love it. All right. Something else I really need. Carlo wanted me to vlog something. What is this? <laughs> That's this amazing. Is, this is. Just a bear freezer. This, this is a walk-in freezer. A walk-in beer freezer. Yeah. That's that is well worth my vlog, my vlog what time. Or, I don't. Probably know. alcohol. Let's not get it. We're not I mean, <laughs> we're in a gas station. What is it? Alcohol. No. <laughs> I love how they just randomly sell condoms, just like out in the open for everybody to see. I mean. Sometimes you get lonely out on the road, man. I know. You need to <laughs> lighten up. I was just like, I'm not getting another souvenir. You're, you're not okay. getting another okay, souvenir? Okay, wait, wait. The real test is if they have moon pies. If they have moon pies, we're buying 50. <laughs> yeah. They have moon pies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me one, man. All right. All right. I'm legit. Wow. You're gonna be in a for a real we Oh well, I've had moon pies in the mm -hmm. car. Yeah. I'm so uh, down. <laughs> Oof. Drink now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we were indecisive, uh so we spent like probably 10, 15 yeah. minutes at a gas station. Looking at souvenirs. Deciding and, I mean, to. They saw a good chunk yeah, of it. Yeah, like, but... look, I got a, I got a little keychain flask. I don't know. Yeah. Wrong. And then uh, we got three moon pies. Two we got. Here for this one. Yeah, I got two moon pies. So, I'm the bigger boy. Yeah. Well, I ate like fifty of these. So we're gonna. As much as this boy hates food reviews, we're going to. Uh, Actually, this is probably easier if I put my drink on that side. But yeah, um, yeah. Let me get a sip first. Oh, we gotta do this at the same time, boy. Right. I have not had moon pies in so freaking long. <laughs> I I only ever had one because I went to a convention. Is uh, that the only time you've ever had them? Yeah, and that's because. <laughs> What's funny Let's is know. that what's funny is that the the convention had like a little tea party thing. Yeah. And I spent <laughs> I spent like forty dollars on the little tickets, and I'm pretty sure they were like maybe five dollars or no, one ticket was one dollar, but five tickets was five dollars. <laughs> and I spent like forty, and I won two of the prizes, and one was a bumper sticker for uh or like the convention's logo and the other was a gift basket with like 50s era like food and one of them was a moon pie i was like what the fuck is this and i was, i yeah. ate it and it was like a legit fucking s'mores it really is yeah and they have different flavors too so yeah but i mean you only get the original because yeah. you ready mm -hmm. let's go mm. 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 So good. Is this the the unofficial sequel to the video of us eating Super Mario so, uh, cereal for like ten minutes? Sure, except I'm sexy mobster John and you're Eli. I'm I.
<laughs> Fine then, I see how it is. You're not even dressed as him. You're not either. I am. You don't. You're not wearing the jacket. You don't got. Yeah, the well, at gun. least mine's in the back seat. And hey, I helped you make that gun. You do. Actually, the gun's in my backpack. Mm -hmm. Just because I wanted to see if we can, if there's some way I could show like Jesse, mm -hmm. the gun. But I don't know. I'm also, I'm not sure you guys see I'm shaking because I'm cold. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I might save a moon pie for later. We should split it so we could uh, share it with Jesse. No. <laughs> you should actually bring it for him. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure he'd be down for a moon pie, but <laughs> it'd probably still be a little weird. <laughs> Who wouldn't be accepting moon pies from strangers? So I, I feel like right you now. should uh, show this. But I have a moon pie holster for uh, my car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got a little a little moon pie holster. Here, you, me, should, you should get some. Where's uh, the headlamp? Let me <laughs> let me fix the lighting. <laughs> just like he's got, take it in and out. Just. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, I mean, obviously it's not, but it fits Moon Pies perfectly. We should get Moon Pie more often just for this moment. We should make that our tradition. We should really just come hope. to a gas station and hope that they have yeah. Moon Pies. All right, guys, so we are going to uh, head back on the road and uh, hopefully not die. But then again... We're, we're, all, we're probably good. I know. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of these sexy mobsters out here, and you're one of them, so. Yeah, I'm, but anyway. I feel like at this point, I don't even need my headlights. Yeah, but anyway, guys, we're going to head out. See you guys in a bit. We just made it to California, and you guys will never believe this. So we were just, you know, uh, filling up the gas tank. Carlo is over there, and check this out, guys. Pretty sure that this is one of our water bottles from when we went to E3. I I feel like this has to be. Cause we drink water out here and I'm pretty sure we might have thrown a bottle over here or something. Also big trucks. But like that's crazy. Like for all we know it could have been just somebody else's water bottle, but if that is the case and it is one of our water bottles, that just proves 
that literally nobody ever cleans up the trash over here. But anyway, that's I, that's just a fun little tangent that I decided to go on. So as trucks decide to pass me right now. Big fat trucks too. Alright guys. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. two whoppers. I'm just like, I'll go light, but then I realize, why waste money on a drink when I have a Powerade in my car, in the car, so, but you know, more sugar, keep me awake. I I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take one of these. You take one of my fries? I'm gonna take a fry too. Or, I'm gonna take a fry. That's good. Let's get into the two-point discussion, Coach. Oh, no. oh, oh, my God, that was amazing. What? That burn? Yeah. Oh. Got all spooky up in here. <coughs> There's some bark. Some nice barbecue sauce. I can't fuck. <coughs> Got some barbecue sauce as well. Oh. Um, we're tired. De dead. I have salt in my throat. A little bit of potato. I'll see you guys. Is that your second fry that you took from? No, it's the same one. Is it? Same yeah. One? Oh. I said I'm gonna essentially touch your French fry. Oh. You wanna have a French fry, a French fry bite or whatever? No. Let's do it. No. Okay. Oh, uh, we're we're dying. This this boy. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm very tired. This fry sucks. What? Wow. No, you're finishing that. You are finishing. That. Fine, but I'm taking one of these. Both. The entire thing for one fry. Yeah. Honestly, I could do that. I'm Did you have to pay for the the barbecue sauce? No. Okay, that's good. No, that's, I, a bit. no that's not. Is I, it? No, oh. I literally just finished the fry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's hard to tell. I think I just... Okay. Yeah, this boy gets uh, real tired real quick when I, he I did. doesn't get his... Uh, My beauty sleep. Yeah. I was going to say, like, some Zelda pun, but... Okay, yeah. Too tired for a Zelda pun. But yeah, hopefully soon we will be... Okay, nice bird. Hopefully soon we'll be in Irving, California for the MBE live show. See then. Or, well, not then, but we'll see soon. See soon. Sponsored by Samsung for the Dev, the Note 9, and shit. It's good phone. I know because I eat Burger King. What he said. Alright guys, so we are now here in 
the Irving Spectrum Center, I think it is. Uh, he's already just been his six months, but I still need to put my costume, cosplay on. Here? Yes, it is. Right, but do we just walk through two doors? I actually don't know. There's a, the Earth, the... Someone here? I don't know. I don't even know. What if, okay, like, for real, what if we really are the only ones to drive all the way here? That would be insane. I, you should uh, save your battery. What's yeah. your percentage at? Like a 57%. Okay. So, so <laughs> I'm a, we're just sitting mine's here. Mine's 48. Yeah. We're just sitting here at the Irving Spectrum Center. Um, it does not open at all. Like The doors are locked and everything. It doesn't open until uh, 1 p.m. Uh, they ha Actually, I could show you guys right now. Well, actually, I don't feel like getting up. I'm but. sorry. I'm... Yeah. Looking at me, Memes. guys. <laughs> I'm tired. Like I drove so long, you know. Yeah. Plus, like we we literally, uh, you know, we got off of work, got ready, and headed out. We didn't have much time to do. Yeah, only a few hours, and I didn't do much in those few hours. I'm very glad. I'm though. very glad I did buy the second gas can, though. Yeah. <laughs> And so we're just gonna be here for a while. Uh, they have on the sign about the My Virtual Escape Live show, so uh, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in just a bit uh, when uh, everything is set to go. I'm actually gonna use the bathroom because I have to go. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I have transformed, and so has he. Although he was already transformed before me. And I have no idea why I'm talking like this. But I'm Isaac now. Um, and we're just, we're still waiting. We're about, how long? Uh, about 12 minutes. I was like, I know this is dumb, but I'm very intrigued by that one camera on top of that building. <laughs> I see it. Yeah. That's, that's weird. But yeah. You want to go home now? You want to go home? Yeah. Let's go. No. Uh, I think a few people like looked at me like, oh, holy crap, he's dressed up like Isaac. Um, yeah. It's a little strange being out in public like this. I think like a this. few people were just like, is that really John? Um, yeah, like there were a few people who like contemplating to go up to him thinking whether or not he was actually uh, the real sexy mobster John. Yeah. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. But yeah. I was so, just like... Okay, so besides the fact that I actually own a few suits, I mean, I, you know, I spent a lot of time looking for the right dress shirt. Yeah. And uh, for me, it's like, I, to me, this still isn't a real dress shirt. Yeah. Um, that's because I can, like, tell by certain aspects. The biggest yeah. uh, clue that this isn't a dress shirt is that I can't take out the little pointy bits for uh, the collar. Yeah, oh, you can't. No, they're just permanently yeah. plastic, and it sucks, because I like the metal ones. Yeah. Um, also, I should uh, mention, while we were sitting, we were actually sitting on the other side at first, and uh, I noticed uh, Terry, a.k.a. Jesse's mom, as well as Aunt Jackie, who plays Aunt Martha, obviously Jesse's aunt. Uh, I did not notice. Yeah, you didn't notice until you saw me walking up to them. Until uh, he skipped gleefully into their arms. Well, I... It wasn't like that. <laughs> it was. It was. I gave them a hug. Yeah. <laughs> they they seemed like they were used to getting hugs like that. So I was just like, once I noticed, I was just like, okay, it's too late for me. <laughs> it's too late. I was like, I'm already, I'm already the guy who killed your son plenty of times. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was hungry. I need XP. He, he needs his XP. Did you ever actually successfully kill him though? No. Yeah, you're just trying to make you look better. I just, I mean, before I died, I kissed Jesus. He did kiss, he did kiss Jesus. That yeah, was, but that, that was, was off sexy. camera. Don't that was off camera. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got like 10 minutes left. Well, it looks like they're gathering up. Yeah, so we are going to head over there, and I will meet you guys in just a bit. Guys, we made it. We made it in. Uh, me and sexy mobster John. I'm Yo, a, Brian! What's up, Brian? I don't get it. Who's that? He, he um, helped create uh, Jesse's app story. 
Oh. Uh, I'm gonna order food. You gonna order food? Yeah. You order food? Also, guys, check this out. I was able to get myself an Eve helmet. These were literally like 25 bucks. Also, actually used also, in the show. You do got to think about it. Isaac's was probably the most used, so. Yeah, this might have been. This we're one. wondering if this was Isaac's. Yeah. That's a good freaking the, the question. Only, the only way to prove it is to look at every other one of them. Yeah. Well, holy crap. I actually got it. it. <laughs> um, also, we got ranked. Uh, mine's like yeah his is fading but i ate a little of mine i was hungry yeah he's he's a little hungry so he ate his but we're in i'm not going to be filming the entire show obviously but maybe some key moments of the show i will be filming but i'm pretty excited we still have like an hour to go but uh i'll keep you i'll keep you guys in touch with what's going on my hair's getting my eye but uh yeah i will see you guys in just a bit Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mick Juggernaut Gates presents my virtual escape! A lot of respect for our performers and those around you. Please don't forget to silence your phones and keep your table conversations to a minimum. Lastly, please, if you plan on taking any photos, please remove the flash. Guys, with that all the way, are we ready to have a great time yeah. this afternoon? I know we can make a little bit more noise than that, guys. Are we ready to have a great time? And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Miss Juliet Riley. You. cameras on right now y'all thank you guys seriously for coming out me and Juliet really appreciate it thank you to the Irvine Improv here for having us this is a super cool show super intimate if you couldn't tell hopefully you guys already hit up my mom and aunt Jackie out there to get some merch dude does anybody get any props maybe yo that's so cool I gotta get that real quick guys we got some helmets guys helmets are now loose we got people about to be playing Eve, guys. Turns out it actually is a real thing. Like if you got, if we can all link up with the helmets, like no joke. Ranked or unranked? It's up to you. You want to play ranked? <laughs> if you want to die, bro, I'm gonna kill you, dude. <laughs> but guys, uh, for those that didn't get any props, um, they will be now also for auction online. So for whatever reason you weren't able to get one and you wanted one, uh, we will actually have them available. I see, I see some, I see some familiar faces out in the crowd. It's good to have you guys here. Um, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna do uh, basically a bunch of songs from the series. I see some familiar, y'all. This is cool, guys. This is cool. Hey, I see some more people out there. 
What's up? Yo! Alright, I love all y'all. Um, guys, so Juliet's going to be playing some music from uh, My Virtual Escape. As you guys just saw, that was our first episode of the pilot where Isaac finds his virtual reality helmet. Uh, he's now ready to jump into EVE, but his demons are still chasing him even in the game. So without further ado, we're going to roll into Clouds Are Breaking. If you guys know the words, yeah. you guys can say. Yeah. <laughs> well, no judgment here, guys. Dance. It's a YouTube event, guys. There's no judgment here. We're all winners. <laughs> Despite leaving his world behind, you know, it lives inside his mind, so uh, although he can teleport to a new world, the things that um, kind of make him who he is are still with him. You can't run from it, no matter how hard you try. Um, we're about to cut, because I don't know if you guys remember, season one in my virtual scene, we didn't have that many songs. We're cutting straight to the season one finale. Uh, who here remembers the good old Mother Sarah? <laughs> Did you guys like Mother Sarah? Was she just annoying to you? <laughs> she was just kind of there. She was like half and half. She was a good, she was a good person. But uh, we're gonna jump right into um, space in my head. If this one, if we can get an epic clap going for this, yes, that'd be pretty sick. I'll like, show you one. We get the whole you know choir know. going. The, yeah, yeah. I'm singing. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Guys. This is one of my favorites. Because when I return, everything better be the same. Everybody gotta be alive. The business gotta be flourishing. I'm gonna kill you, Johnny. Johnny, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, Johnny. You make sure you're on top. Yes. You big oh, blood. Yes. Give me a hug, man. I gotta go. Give me a hug. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Hey. Yes, I see what we do. I keep coming down. White light in a dark room You're my heart attack I'm not sure if you knew But you broke me back We see what we need to And you keep coming back But I'm not afraid of the clouds anymore I braved the storm that was you So give me space in my head to cross you off your deck to me Lord, please let me start again So if you come back on your knees and say you need all
In peace. Yeah, so you just saw literally a nun going to kill somebody, which you don't normally see, uh, especially on YouTube. Um, well, actually, no, somebody's probably done that before for views. But uh, guys, we're about to jump into season two. I'm, I just want to do a little poll to you guys. Uh, what season was your favorite? You, know, you just shout it out. All of them. <laughs> all of them. All, who said all of them? You can come up here and give me a hug, bro. <laughs> um, Guys, we're Joe Brady season two. This is Astronaut. Um, so basically, Isaac's now starting to get his feet wet in VR. And he's realizing that like we kind of need these experience points to rank up in the game. Um, so he's just going to hoard a bunch of them. So he goes kind of on a little bender. And uh, also, in real life, he's taking care of this elderly woman. Is she in the crowd right now? What? Martha. <laughs> are you are you I'm here? Right here. I'm right here. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just want to double check. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Um, but yeah, I just take care of this elderly woman, Martha, who is uh, a little senile. She's kind of, but she's dealing with some uh, demons of her own. So there's a, there's a bit of a connection there. Um, but Isaac's still just so obsessed with VR, and he's uh, hooked up with Arachnid, as you saw Abraham, who uh, that's who he is in real life. And um, they're gonna try and run this game, y'all. We got the the Jesse Jesse Pinkman Walter White business oh, going yeah, on in XP. Run this game. Run this game.
If I don't have doubt, I don't know if I'll keep any sound from getting in. If I drown you out, if I drown you out, I don't know if I'll feel any pity ever again. If I These two episodes are so, I love these two, because Isaac is officially to Haven, the, the long-awaited place where everything's awesome and great, it's like white, it's like heaven, but no, it's pitch blackness, uh, pretty much the devil is there, he's the overlord, and he's battling, uh, Isaac is that to battle Arachnid in a duel, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Isaac has the gold gun, as you guys saw at the end of that uh, music video, that Joseph and Abraham uh, actually created Eve together, and it was kind of like in memoriam of Eve, Isaac's sister that died. Um, it was kind of an escape for Joseph as well, and Abraham also, because he's somewhat responsible for the death of Eve. Um, I, I, that's, one, that's one of those Martha situations. I don't know, is Abraham at fault for Eve's death or not? Uh, anybody have any thoughts on that? Is Abraham to blame for Eve's death? It's a pretty gray area. Yeah, you got a thought? It's true. You could put the blame on Joseph because he, as you think about it, Joseph is the father, and he did. If you remember, young Isaac, he left young Isaac with Abraham years ago, and then young Isaac was literally drowned, floating in the pool. So, like, you would think Joseph would have learned from that scenario not to leave kids with Abraham because he's just so busy working that he's not focusing on anything else. Um, but guys, we're going to jump into Jenny was a friend of mine. Uh, we're going to probably see the fight sequence too a little bit. We're going to let that run. So like things are getting a little intense guys. But, uh, this, I just, Jenny was a friend of mine guys. I don't understand Like for those curious about the creative process, I know we had a couple people asking like how'd you come up with it. Um, literally everything was guided by this one song by the killers. Jenny was a friend of mine. I don't know what it was, but listening to that song over and over again, I always pictured like these scenes to it, and I didn't know any, everything else around the series, but at least I had this song to drive me and guide me towards creating this. Um, so if you're ever like wondering, like, how do you get creative inspiration? Sometimes it's music, like whatever your favorite music is, just like let it guide you, or even your favorite movie or show. Like, and the colors inspired a lot of the soundtrack. Definitely. Um, so shout out to them because <laughs> they need it, right? Yeah. But guys, here we go. Jenny's a friend of mine. Had a flat 
So like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my fist this way, and then you just turn your face that way. Yeah. So it's like, boom. It's like, okay, now I'm gonna you know I'm gonna like knee you like that, and then like punch you like that. 
So it's literally, and then we just did like that was part one, and then like part two. Okay, how about you throw this pillow here? I'll shoot that gun. You grab. It's literally just like BSing your way through it. Like so, if you're wondering, like that looks a little intense. I don't know if I can do it. Just BS your way through it. That's li that's life advice, guys. BS your way through it. Pretend like it's yeah, that's it. We're doing this uh, like crazy, stupid confidence, and you you win. Yeah, Jason's question. It's on. How long did that that particular sequence, like Isaac and Abraham fighting to the death? That one took, I'd say, maybe around seven hours. So what we did was, it's supposed to take place uh, during the day and then at night, and we kind of like put, uh, we covered up every single window in the house. So you can't tell, because like if you saw Joseph floating in the water in the pool, it's pretty dark, and then Isaac kind of runs. So we started filming that in the day, covered up all the windows, and we just was like, all right, we're just going to beat, beat the crap out of each other for seven hours. So it was like really intense and grueling, but like it was so much fun. Um, and that's kind of like how we would block some of our shoots out and do it to where like, okay, can we cover up lighting? Is it indoors? Can we make that happen? Or like sometimes it was like a lot of the stuff at Solomon's house, we're shooting at like four or five in the morning um, just because it's like that's when everybody's available because we're accommodating like so many work schedules and stuff. Yes. Which, which house are you talking about? Right, right. So yeah, there was a few different times. I don't know if you see the behind the scenes. I don't know if you capture it, but like, we were filming in just like family, friends, and different people's houses. And yeah, like, we're trying to operate this schedule where like, not everyone's getting paid. So like, when it comes to filming your own stuff, <laughs> You just have to be very persuasive, and yeah, like, Mrs. Starber is like trying to sleep while Solomon's getting his throat slit. So we're like, she's like yelling at us, we're like, could you shut up for like two minutes? We just need to get this shot, we've been doing this for seven hours. So it's just like yelling at people and just like, let us do this art. <laughs> yeah. Um, how, why did Archie like kill the other cops? I mean, that, that always like made me confused. It's an interesting twist. So for as long as we've seen the moderator, Archie or Michael, two sides of the same coin, they've been very, very rigid in like, yo, this is law. Like I'm, I'm about doing what's right, justice. But as you watch the series, I mean, as soon as Michael starts to uh, unhinge and he kills Elijah, that was blatantly disobeying the overlord's rule. So you kind of watch Michael start to slip up. Then he gives the golden gun to Solomon, which Solomon then uses to shoot Rebecca. So it's like a slippery slope. But what it was is Archie has, you know, he's got a, a connection with Isaac. You know, it's like a son to him. So he didn't. He knew if the cops came in and saw Isaac with a knife to Abraham's throat, the cops are going to shoot Isaac. They're going to take him out. So Archie was just like, you know what? Screw the law. Screw just. I, I got to protect what feels like my son, and he killed the cops and died in the process. Yeah. I remember the part was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes to keep continuity because we film something, I'd have to go over something for like 30 minutes, and then it's time to shoot again. And it's like, all right, we got to pick up over that thought. So it's like, let's do calisthenics real quick to make it seem like we're all like, <laughs> this is like different ways you kind of got to get creative. But guys, we're going to jump into the final songs, the finale. Uh, my turn. It's going to be, and, and then Julia can take a rest. She's killing, guys. Give another round of applause. Like, she's yeah. all right. yeah. like, this is Julia Riley, my virtual student. The turn is in parentheses on the side. Uh, but guys, here's my turn. This is the end. Uh, the credits are going to roll as we go. And uh, if we have any time, we'll see if we do some questions. It'll do meet for you guys. But here's the end. Tear to your break for you. Well, Queen Isaac, you beat me. I was you. Everything all right? Yeah. I get it. Seems real. I've been getting nosebleeds ever since it ended. I think we were in too deep. Too. I'd say so. I think we're gonna have to fix a few things before we release the public. Cool. You don't still hate me, do you? No. It's just. You say I'm only my true self. Stay and take your cue. Oh, 
So that's going to be a much higher production value, and that, that'll probably be roughly four years. But we got a couple of movies to make first. Yeah. Correct. No. How do we know this isn't all a simulation? What? Wait, there's post credits? Yes. Yeah. Are you happy? What? Yeah. And it doesn't matter much, does it? Oh, so. Is 
subscribe to Larry's Lounge. <laughs> um, yeah, back to your question. <laughs> yeah, so is Eve technically the devil's daughter? So, like, I don't think the devil uh, birthed Isaac. I don't think that was a process. Um, speaking of which, oh, he's gonna get away! Get away from me! I saw it! I saw it! The devil's looting! Oh, he's. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, Eve is technically not. I think it's kind of an extension. I, I don't think the de I think Eve is too good to technically be uh, of the devil's descent. Yeah. What I thought would be a good twist when you guys were battling. Yeah. Like the 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 Overlord. It should have been you. Like you know, you see your other self in like. Are you talking the devil? The devil should have been the Overlord. But like you're like. It was me the whole time. <laughs> like some mirror man stuff? Dude, make it. Make it on story fire, bro. I think you got it, dude. You asked about the creative process, dude. I'm going to see your series on there. Yeah. Second series graphic novel. Ed, Evan, where's Evan at? I think Evan's back. There he is. So Evan's part, my partner uh, and manager with, with the graphic novel. We are right there. Like, it's definitely coming out by Christmas. This thing is be Evan, how beautiful is this thing? It's freaking gorgeous, guys. 100 pages are all done. We just finished the back of the book, the spine, the cover. This thing's going to be coming out within the next month or so. Um, I'm super pumped on this, guys. Hey. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jesse? Yo, what's up, dude? Um, so first of all, could yeah. you please do the honors of signing the Eve? Of course. Helmet? You want me to put Eve on this thing too? Make uh, it super legit? Actually, yes. Yeah, that yeah. might. Because that, that unlocks the uh, power. Are you yeah. wait? Are you double question mark, bro? Uh, you know, dude. actually, I can't really get on block. But <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard, but yes, I am. Yeah, man, we've been eating a lot of XP. Yeah, we've been eating nah, tons of bro. XP. Honestly, you got your when, hand in the cookie jar. Yeah. yeah. When we when we were about to come to the trip, I was legit gonna buy these mini Ziplocs and fill it with rock candy. Dude, I know I so badly wanted to give out XP. Yeah. But I was yeah. like, we can't legally do that. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Uh, this is like the food, the Thank FDA, you. the Food Drug Administration. Uh, yeah. We'll see if I can get a better shot of it. There we go. Ooh, stay yeah. away, bro. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I got Italian skin, so why not? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I have one <laughs> yeah. question for you. Yes. And I want to get this on camera. Yeah. Would you follow me on Twitter? What's your handle? Zelda Inferno. Tweets me a picture of us, and you got it. All right. Actually, could I get... Um, one picture with that, just us together, because I want yeah, to... Yeah, selfie style? Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up the My Virtual Escape live show here in Irving, California. I had a lot of fun. So did Carlo. Um, there's not really much left for us to do. Uh, we're going to do a couple more things around Cali, and then uh, we're going to go uh, start heading home. Another six-hour drive, but you know what? You guys have seen all that before. And you know, guys... I feel like I should at least give this one more shot. So yeah guys, I'll see you when I get home. <gasps> I'm home. Nice. Well guys, um, so yeah, I just got home, uh, um, and uh, yeah, I'm very tired. Uh, sure, I may have snapped my way home. But honestly, it feels like it took much longer than it actually did. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, guys, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I, I'm really sad that this is the last live show that they're doing because if they were doing more, you already know I would go to every single one that I can. Um, but yeah, and I did get quite a bit of merchandise as well. I got... Uh, well, first of all, for the VIP members. In fact, I'm not quite sure, was it for VIP? Because it's not, it seemed like everybody was getting both the CD and the poster. Unless everybody who went just so happened to be a VIP member. Um, but really... Uh, so yeah, I... 
really, but that was really strange. Um, so yeah, I did get uh, the uh, CD as well as the poster, uh, as, but I also got, uh, and uh, I'm not sure if I actually showed it uh, to you guys, but I'm going to show you guys right now. I got a Eve helmet. Uh, this is an actual prop that was used in my virtual scheme. In fact, there's actually, if you guys can see, uh, there is actually some blood on it. Uh, left over from my virtual scape. You guys can see that. That's pretty cool. And I'm honestly surprised the Eve label held up pretty well. Like, uh, some of the other ones that I was seeing, um, that they were giving out, well, se uh, that they were selling, uh, the labels were, like, torn off or faded away. But, uh, this one is, although it's faded slightly, for the most part, it's intact. Uh, so I might clean it up a little bit. I'm not quite sure because, you know, it is a bit of, uh, uh, history right there, having the, uh, the blood from the series. Uh, and I'm still trying to decide which, whose helmet this was. Was this Isaac's? Was this one of Solomon's brothers? I have no idea. Uh, Carlo thinks that his helmet may have been, uh, part of, uh, one of Solomon's brothers' helmet. One of Solomon's brothers' helmets, because apparently some of it was actually rusted, and considering that they did film outside in the rain, uh, that does make sense. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys already saw, but uh, Jesse did sign it as well. He also asked me because the Eve logo on the side of the helmet had faded away. Uh, Jesse asked if I he what Jesse asked me if he could uh, rewrite it for me, and so he did. Well, it's not exactly like it is. Uh, in my virtual escape, it's pretty close, uh, and it's pretty cool as well because I actually got to witness him doing it. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to end up the vlog here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is probably going to be the longest video on my channel because not only did I record some footage, but Carlo did as well. So I'm gonna see if you can give me some of that footage uh, for me to use in this video. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys. I've been Zeldon Inferno, and I'll see you later. Bye.